What would your ass do for a clown dyke bar? Well, I sure in the fuck wouldn't watch Jack Frost too. Hell, I'd rather have my dick bit off than watch Jack Frost too. I'd rather have an anal evacuation than watch Jack Frost 2. This shit's so bad that you'd rather have your balls frozen in ice cubes. Jack Frost 2. Now playing on the Channel of the Beast. And now, on with the show. Hey horror hounds and welcome to the channel of the beast! Hell, my stink ass is back and I'm fucking sorry for the delay! Hell, the beast was low on funds and the little bit of change that I did get, I had a safer Texas Frightmare weekend! Enough of this rambling shit, that ain't what you came here for, but I do gotta say I missed you all. And with that, let's get this fucker rolling and on to the first thing, Blu-rays! And first up for the Blu-rays is Rogario Diodato Collection or some shit like that. I'm, I butcher the fuck out of his name. Rogario... Or whatever. I don't speak Italian. I only eat the fucker. Hell, I picked this up to add to my Cannibal Holocaust Collection. And House of the Edge of the Park ain't so bad as well. I don't know if this is all region, so I doubt I'll ever be able to watch it. But fuck, I had to add this shit to my Cannibal Holocaust Collection. Now I have Christmas Evil. Haven't seen this one. Look cool. I'm always down for fucking Christmas horror. Just like a blowjob. It could be any time of the year and you fucking dig it anyways. It doesn't have to be Christmas time. Fuck that shit. Graduation Day. Not the greatest slasher, but fuck. It's always good to add these fucks to my collection. Saw a cheap and frightmare, so I definitely said what the fuck. The Sinful Dwarf. Don't know nothing about this shit, but I know it looks fucking cool. And everybody else is picking it up, so I said, what the fuck? I'm on a little person kick anyways these days. Hell, fucking lifetime's full of that shit. Martyrs. Heard a lot of people talk shit about this, but I dug it. It was pretty much the same as the original. But fuck, this is beautiful to look at, and it was entertaining. Hell, I give this motherfucker three cadavers out of five. If you're looking for something pretty to look at, and disgusting, this is your fucking film. Exeter or some shit like that. Found it cheap. Definitely said what the fuck. Definitely gonna have to give this one a watch. It looked a lot like The Exorcist, but modernized with the fucking camcorders and stupid shit like that. The Vatican Tapes. Another one of these I know nothing about, but fuck it looked cool. We are still here. I need to give this one another watch. I fell asleep when I first watched it, but what I did see of it was pretty damn cool. So my fat ass definitely needs to sit down and give this one another watch. Creature, one of these made-for-TV miniseries. Yeah, it was a bit slow, but damn, it was pretty cool. The monster looked pretty badass. It's not for everybody, but I love shark films and creatures and shit like that, so I dug the shit out of it. Eli Roth's Knock Knock, haven't seen it, but damn I can't wait. I love what fucking Eli Roth does, plus Keanu Reeves is in this, he's hit or miss. Some kind of hate, looks like a slasher type film or something. Don't know who cared, it was cheap, so I said what the fuck. Detention, had to pick this one up, it looked fucking cool, heard great things about it. Zombie Fight Club, another one of these films that looks cool that I haven't had the time to watch, but it does look pretty fucking dope. And, last up for the Blu-rays is Odd Thomas. Hell, I picked this up mainly because William Defoe's in it, and he's one of my favorite actors. And the trailer made this film look fucking badass. So that's it for the Blu-rays, and on to the next thing, DVDs. First up is Guinea Pig, Flowers of Flesh and Blood. It's all set Frightmare for like 20 bucks. Hell, I've been looking all over eBay and Amazon for this, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So when I saw this, the beast had to pick this fucker up, because I dug the shit out of American Guinea Pig. Hell, so if that was badass, then this should be killer as well. Plus, I'm in the mood for some sushi. 
Grime Wave. Looked fucking cool. The director sold me on it. He said it was weird and bizarre. So that sounds right down the Beast Alley. And it was only $10. And he autographed it. So I couldn't say no. Hell, the Beast is definitely gonna have to give this one a watch very soon. Zombies. Sounds like one of these topless African tribes that I used to beat off to as a kid in the National Geographic. Or some kind of fucking exercise thing like Zumba, Zombies, whatever the fuck. The movie wasn't that bad. That's if you can get past the CGI. What do they fucking do? Hire high schoolers to do the fucking CGI in this motherfucker? Plus, like I said, the name reminds me of my childhood while looking at National Geographic's. All Hallows Eve 2, another one of these anthology films. I haven't had the time to watch it, but it looks dope. The first one's pretty cool, so I had to pick this fucker up. And last up for the DVDs is The Ghost of Angela Webb. Looks fucking cheesy and horrible, but that's the way I like it. And her green ass self is looking kinda hot. So that's it for this portion of the update, and on to the next thing. This month's shoutouts go out to Stephanie Slaughter. The Movie Vlog! And Ali Caballero! If you're not already subscribed to these YouTubers, make sure you do so! And don't forget to tell them that the Beast sent you! This month's UV Code giveaways are for The Vatican Tapes, Exeter, and Knock Knock. And the only way to win one of these is to be the first to comment down below in the description telling me which one of these you want, and it's first come. First serve till they're gone, and that's it. Good luck. Hell, I'm fucking sorry that my stink ass hasn't been around much of late, but I've been working hard on a dot com. If you want more of the beast, make sure you check out angeredbeast.com. And it took me fucking four months to make my last fucking review, and I've just been low on fucking money. Like I said earlier, I saved up the little bit I had to go to Texas Frightmare. This year's fucking Texas Frightmare was fucking phenomenal, but at the same time fucking sucked dick. First off, I forgot my fucking camera. That's like going on your first date without a condom. And I didn't get to meet Dick Warlock, but I did meet some awesome motherfuckers. I'm not going to butcher the names, but you do get to see the pics I took. And with that being said, enjoy these pics, and until next month, keep it whore. If you've seen any of these movies, leave your thoughts down below in the description. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it, do all that other good stuff. If you haven't already subscribed to The Beast, then please do so. And with that being said, keep it whore.